And with that, I have the pleasure of introducing today's speaker, Janet E. Johnson. She's an ad agency owner, coach, worldwide speaker, and podcaster that specializes in helping business owners get a return on investment with their Facebook and Instagram advertising. She's generated millions of dollars for clients using her unique catapult strategy. Her online journey started way back in 1998 with selling on eBay and other online marketing while running a daycare in her basement. In 2007, she transitioned her business to social media marketing and more specifically, paid advertising. Please help me welcome. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So we are talking about increasing your business with the metaverse. So well, if you don't know what the metaverse is, we will be talking about that right now. So let me get into it. Metaverse. Meta is the new name, not the metaverse, but meta is the new name for the Facebook universe. And the Facebook universe, so they really, Facebook used to be the parent company of Instagram, Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp, and Oculus. But now what's happened is Facebook wanted to pull back and they built a new parent company. So Facebook still exists, but the parent company is Meta. And why this is important will be talked about in the presentation. Oops. Okay. So I have a question and I can only see, I can see the answers on Facebook, but I can't see some of the answers. So I just have a quick qu couple questions to start out, but we could talk about these at the end as well. How many of you use Facebook and or Instagram for your marketing? Drop in the comments, uh, Facebook, Instagram, whichever you do, uh, or both, if you do both, go ahead and put the word both. I'm just curious on who is using this for the marketing of their business. Now, it's really important to point out, I'm looking for specifically marketing of your business, not just being on Facebook. Okay. I, oh, I'm seeing a lot of answers. I use both daily. Yes, both, 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 Facebook only. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of answers and some of you may be answering it also in the, in the other chat too that I don't see. Okay, cool. Thank you for answering. I'm seeing a lot of both. So that's cool. Now, how many of you use Facebook and or Instagram paid advertising? Drop the word paid. I'm curious on how many of you, and if you don't use any paid advertising, drop the word no. Okay, let me see how many there because I'm very curious on how many are actually paying for their advertising with those two platforms. Paid. I've seen one paid. I don't see any no's yet, but I have the feeling there's there's uh, some no's. Okay, no, paid, both. Okay, I'm seeing a, a mix. All right, no, no. Okay, so we're going to talk about why it's important to use paid advertising and some other strategies today. So we're going to talk about the four top ways to use meta, the new term for Facebook, to bring more leads and sales to your company. Here's the tip number one, reels. Many of you have heard of TikTok, I'm sure, but a lot of people don't even know the term reels. Well, reels is the copycat because Facebook and Instagram copy everything that everybody else does and tries to take it over. That's just the way the world works. And reels is basically a TikTok within Instagram and now Facebook. And this was interesting. This came out just today. Just today, I grabbed the screenshot just today. Zuckerberg announced Reels is already our fastest growing content format by far. And today we're making it available for everyone on Facebook globally. We want Reels to be the best place for creators to connect with their community and make a living. So we're launching new monetization tools too. More details in the comments. So. I don't know what those were, but it's very interesting because they are really, really honing in and focusing on reels. So here are some real tips. The reason that it's so important to be doing reels is because this, whenever Facebook or Instagram, if they really hone in on some type of, it used to be Facebook lives. It, 
when they launched video, it was video. Well, now reels is the hot thing. So they feed the algorithm more to reels. So if you really want to get that organic exposure, you want to focus on reels. It increases your engagement and your followers. You can put your videos into reels. So you can use reels, but drop your videos in there. If you're on TikTok, you can repurpose those to reels. That is number one. Number two, short videos. So what do I mean by short videos? I mean, 60 seconds or less is semi-short, but even if you can get to 15 seconds or less, that's why the reels are so, so popular. Um, this is a video that we have brought in hundreds of thousands of dollars to just using this type of video that is short to the point uh, and it's formatted in a square format. There's a lot of different tips with, with videos, but it's a short to the point video that I believe it is only, let's start playing it at the beginning. How many times have you watched a video just like this and said, that's exactly what I need to change my life? So it's talking about Amazon and how to start a business on Amazon, but they get to the point within the first three to six seconds. So it's 58 seconds, which is even a little bit long for video. Short videos. You want to start with a question. He did perfectly there starting with a question. You want to grab attention. First three to five seconds. Got to grab their attention. Don't introduce who you are because, you know, a lot of times when you're going across the feed, you don't, people don't care who you are yet. Okay. So you want to make sure that you're grabbing their attention that first three, three to six seconds with a question and grabbing their attention. Educate. Educating in the video works fantastic. Talk about why they're, you're doing the next step in their solution. So this is also goes to ads and we'll be talking about that in a minute. But uh, so you want to, talk to your audience about what their problem is by grabbing their attention with that question. But then you also want to talk about why doing something with you is the solution. Like maybe with that video I just showed you, we're taking them to fill out a messenger ad. Uh, maybe you're taking them to a webinar. Maybe you have a download for them. So there's, there's certain different things that action that they could take. So why would they take that next step? And even talking head videos do work. It's all about authenticity, all about authenticity. We don't have to have highly produced videos anymore. It's uh, just, you know, doing them authentically. You can walk around outside and you just got to pay attention to your sound, but we want short, authentic videos. And this is what the video I showed you. This is a co cool tool that I like to tell people about because we use this for every video that we do for our ads. And we do, a, and I do, if you look at my Instagram, I do videos every single week and we do them with this. We always put them through ClipScribe. It's a very inexpensive platform where you can put the banner across the top to make it stand out. It's kind of meme style. And then you put the, it automatically, automatically puts the captions on it for you. So if people aren't listening in the feed, they can still see and read this. So love the ClipScribe, very, very inexpensive tool to use. All right, Metaverse, the future. We're going to talk about that too. So Metaverse, um, obviously, as you can see, Zuckerberg's turning into a video game character in this. And that is the future. So let's talk about the metaverse. This is a New York Post that just came out. It says metaverse clothing, travel, plastic surgery, surgery. Experts predict life in 2030. Several companies, including Snap, Amazon, Microsoft, and Zuckerberg's company, Meta, have their own competing versions of this new digital world. They will, Meta says it will dedicate 10 billion to the efforts and plan to hire 10,000 workers just for European operation. Metaverse is the new future. Let's talk a little bit about the metaverse. As I said, it's the future. This is what we're heading into Web 3.0. This We're right now currently in Web 2.0. And if you remember, if you're old enough like me, and you go back to 
web 1.0 where it was like we were barely on dial up and you know the crazy going way way back in time social media was crazy back then it was like it, we didn't think it would actually be the future but if you you've got to be forward thinking on what is the future and it is web 3.0 and metaverse is going to be part of it there will be many businesses using it for marketing. If you, um, Gary Vaynerchuk's a great person, Gary V, look him up. He's a great person to follow. He predicts a lot about the future in social media and the online marketing world and his predictions. He's already on top of this web 3.0. Uh, it will allow businesses from different physical locations to participate in a singular economy without trade barriers. Very interesting there. This is where NFTs and crypto come in. Now, if you haven't heard of NFTs, this is a go. Um, uh, we can't, I mean, this could be a whole other pre presentation, but um, look it up, learn what an NFT is and how that could affect the future too. But they do use a lot of that. And how would you, you know, if you really, really want to learn more too, you need to pay attention to the gaming community. Uh, gaming, if uh, the, the goggles, the, the Oculus, we have a pair. Um, my kid, I've used them a few times. It's pretty cool, but it is kind of, it's believe it or not, really, really going to be the future and future for businesses. They are predicting one of the biggest marketing areas for jobs in the future is going to be for marketing in the metaverse. So that just tells you where things are going. So you want to pay attention to that for the future. Now we're not talking a lot of it today. Pay attention, but you know, you might not be moving your marketing there today. But the now is really paid advertising. Paid has much more control than organic. I gave you some tips on how to get the organic reach, um, but it is very tough with Facebook and Instagram now. And this is just kind of a funny um, Facebook ads. I just use them when I need a boost. Boosting is kind of a no-no in my world. It, I just feel uh, boosting just isn't, you don't have any control over a boost. And so just hitting that little boost button, try not to do that. You really wanna learn deeper about ads before you go paying for advertising. Paid is really where you can truly get a return on investment. See that ROI. We can post all day long organically, 10 times a day, and you really don't know the data behind if you truly can get an ROI. And paid, you can. So this is another question for you. Um, you don't have to go answer that, but did do you know that less than 4% and I've heard lately it's even down to 2 to 3% of your Facebook page likes actually see your content. You can get a little bit of the organic reach more on Instagram, but there really is pretty much none on Facebook. The tiniest tiniest bit. So it's very hard to get seen even by the people that follow you. So why I prefer paid advertising. You can get results really fast. You can determine when and how fast to scale. You have control. You can test a ton of different creatives quickly. You can reach new markets on demand. The control, the control factor is a big thing. So I have a few testimonials and I want to show you these because I want you to realize I'm not showing it to brag or anything like that. I'm just showing it to you so that you understand how great the return on investment can really be with Facebook paid advertising and Instagram. It's both. Uh, this was a client of mine. My expectation for my launch were much low, lower than what actually happened. And the majority came from the ads Janet managed. And it was absolutely the majority. We only spent $5,000 for this launch. It was a, about a three week period and she made $50,000. This is a client of mine. I showed you his video. This is the one that has made hundreds of thousands of dollars. We, in the first 90 days alone, we had a 7,000 ad spend and made over $100,000. But this, these are clients that I've been working with now about nine months, so they are well, well over the million dollar mark at this point. So 
I told you that just so that just to give you some examples so that you understand why to why you should be testing out the paid advertising. Now I'm going to give you some tips, some some quick tips. We don't have all day, so this is just a very quick quick brief tips for 2022. You must set up domain verification. This is the latest changes that made were made in May with Apple iOS 14.5. When all the phones got updated, the Apple phones, they decided to ask everyone if they wanted to get, basically get the advertising. And a lot of people opted out for that. So in order to still get the good tracking back to your Facebook ads, you need to make sure that you update for iOS. And there's a, it's called domain verification. You want to test broader audiences. I know this is surprising. Back in the day, years and years ago, I've been doing this for years, we were told to test tiny little niche markets. You know, if you want to market to a doctor of, um, you know, pediatric medicine, you would target that specific person. Now it's actually working better to target very, very broad audiences. You also want to test lots of audiences. The If you think you know your audience and you run some Facebook ads and you test a whole bunch of different audiences, you will realize your audience might not be the audience you thought it was. And some will work great and some won't work as well. You want to be authentic. Back to what I already talked about in the video example, just be authentic in your marketing. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I've tested lots of audiences twice. Didn't realize I had that. Test lots of creative as well. So you want to test GIFs, videos, graphics. So you want to test all of those, not just graphics. You always want to test GIFs too. So that's it. Those were some fast tips. So if you want to chat about strategy, feel free to go to my website, click the contact, and you can reach out to me. Love to hear what you're doing with your marketing on Facebook and Instagram and just learn more about your business. So feel free to reach out.